Hello everyone, this is Natalie with Marketing Resolution. Thanks once again for joining us here on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy these videos. And today I have with me Joanne Law from the Mediation Institute in Australia. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Natalie. How are you? I'm doing really well, thanks. We're just coming off springtime, getting ready for summer, and of course you're on the other side, just uh, finishing up with fall, getting ready for the winter. Absolutely, yeah. I've just been in Canberra, which um, gets a lovely autumn uh, or fall. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we were we just drove to Luxembourg over the weekend, and it's you know springtime in the mountains. So we had snow in May. But, you know, that, that's the way of it. So, um, Joanne, I know that you just came off of a, a TEDx talk and that you have a lot to share with us about the Mediation Institute, but share with me first the, the TEDx talk information. Okay, well, it wasn't, I, I wasn't talking, I was actually curating. So I had the pleasure of helping um, a lot of people, because we had a very large TEDx um, here in um, the city of Casey in Melbourne, uh, to, to filter through, or I suppose refine what they wanted to share. Um, from you know being an okay presentation to something worthy of ted so uh the, the videos are going to be coming out soon and we'll just have to see what the world thinks about them <laughs> it's very exciting well i bet they're great um i have really enjoyed uh working with you and uh, i know that you always put forward really professional programs i'm always really impressed by the work that you do oh thank you it's um yeah it was a real pleasure and um I guess that that it, the, the whole TED and people say, well, why did you do a, a TEDx? You know, what, what's that about? And I, I guess for me, it's about communication, about helping to focus on the positive, on what's possible, what we can do to make things better. Because um, I worry that people focus too much on the path, too much on the negative. And um, yeah, so I'm doing everything I can to kind of shift that focus to you know, what can we do to make things better. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the, the same reason that I have, you know, for the last 25 years referred to our industry as the resolution industry. Yes. We're not in the conflict resolution industry or the dispute resolution industry. Um, the conflict is part of it, the dispute is part of it, but really it's about the positive outcome. It's about the resolution. And, mm -hmm. and that's the, the, the focus that I like to, to emphasize. Yeah. Is yeah, a particularly conflict I've got a, um a problem with because I, I, I've got a, a hierarchy that I work with that goes from peace all the way up to war and um, you know conflict is just one step off violence um, and and so for me I, I really want to encourage or help and support people to resolve things earlier than that you know when when things become a problem when there's a problem in the relationship when there's a problem in the family or at the workplace that's the time to to resolve things yeah. not wait yeah. till you, you you're not talking and everyone's upset and angry and and bitter and you know it's it's harder to get back from that exactly it's so much easier to get to things when they're just an issue you know? yes yeah because it once it becomes a conflict or a dispute, it's harder to follow my my dad's advice, which is to always be easy on the people and hard on the issue. Yes. And by the time it becomes a conflict or a dispute, that becomes much more difficult for some folks. And so getting things at the very front of it is, I think, one of the, the, the best uses of our industry. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the Mediation Institute, you guys have a lot going on. You provide a lot of really valuable programs um, to the folks there in your region. Tell me some of what you provide or, or what you'd really like people to focus on um, in your services. Yeah, look, we, we started out just training mediation, um, mm -hmm. but I, I guess we see ourselves as a bit of gap fillers. So, you know, where we see that there's a gap or things, you know, there might be a, a way to make thing, make training more accessible or more flexible, we sort of think, oh, well, why don't we put out a course for that? Um, and so we've, we've grown a fair bit over the, the time, um, including we, we've uh, set it up a not-for-profit, uh, which helps works with uh, people um, directly. So people in um, 
who've got family conflict, uh, people that have got um, or disputes or <laughs> things that need to be resolved in their family. Um, and through our members, uh, we refer people out to mediators if they've got um, issues in the workplace they want to resolve. Um, so, yeah, so we do all sorts of things, um, but a lot of it now we're doing is around coaching. So, um, which for me, um, coaching is, is is kind of individualised training. So it's it's more customised than, um, you know, here you're going to a workshop and you're going to learn this information, you're going to learn it all at the same pace as everyone else. Um, coaching is, is just much more tailored. So, you know, um, I don't know, <laughs> is, is, is teaching people to suck eggs an expression that you use over there? <laughs> it's, it's um, I don't know even what that expression has, but basically when, with coaching, we're not trying to teach people things they know, we're just trying to fill the gaps in it, where perhaps their strategies that they've used in the past aren't really working anymore. Yeah, and it's important to have those little uh, tools in your toolbox to try to communicate with other people or negotiate with other people, uh, your children, your neighbors, the receptionist at the hotel desk, you know, to have all of those, those little, uh, I'm, I'm going to say tools again, um, it is really important. And I think that people in a social media age in a texting age in an online age have somewhat forgotten or even lost the skill to have a face-to-face -face communication and make themselves heard in a way that elicits a positive response. Yeah and, and look one of the speakers at our TEDx was a, um, a professor who's been doing a lot of research on trolls, internet trolls. Um, and what they've discovered is that empathy, a deficit in empathy, so the, the lack of the ability to, to feel what's going on for other people is, is kind of, if you, if you change that, if you help people to increase their empathy, they'll stop being trolls. <laughs> um, so it's the kind of, it's not the, it's not the heady stuff, it's the feeling stuff. And um, I That's think that, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, um, the research that they've been doing because they they were trying to you know work out wh why do people do this like you know um and, and and it's the same in the work we do in in um because when people start to you know their relationship starts to fall down they start to have issues they generally empathy goes down and it's really hard because if someone's hurt you or you're upset with them it's very hard to even care what they're feeling um, but it, it, it's really actually effective <laughs> so learning to, to actually be able to understand what's going on with other people it, it just really helps pretty much in any part of life <laughs> you know I can, I can absolutely see that but I've noticed um, you know I don't have any research or white papers it's just my own observation of the world is that it's become so much easier for people to be mean yeah yeah it is yeah and and part of that is that we as you said we've got these methods of communicating we can email we can text we can do all of that um and actually that that's um the latest course that we've introduced is training people and not just mediators anyone um to facilitate meetings like this like this one that we're having um because it's it's really hard to be mean with someone if you can see them. <laughs> it's it become much more difficult. It um, is, yeah. I know that they're you know, at you. You're, no. you're there, you're looking lovely. How could I say something mean to you? But, you know, if I was feeling narky, I could just send an email. Not that I would, but, you know, someone could. <laughs> well, yes, we can do that, not between you. <laughs> well, there are tools that I know um, people have used quite successfully because sometimes, you know, we do need to have a, a communication. We need to look each other in the eye and we need to have a, a talk. But sometimes it's just a simple exchange of information. Um, so if you and I have recently divorced and we have children, maybe you just need to tell me about the, uh, the updated time for a football practice. And oh, 
and, and that's just an exchange of information. And so we do have tools for families uh, to use, like our family wizard. And, uh, and our family wizard, and I'll go ahead and plug them, it's an unpaid plug, but it's ourfamilywizard.com. And it's uh, a software that people can use, and it's a bit like you have your own family website. And you can send information, you can post photographs, you can put up a, a family calendar, and in that way, you can keep everyone sort of in the loop and up to date. But it, it does not replace the dialogue that is so important. And, and although that it, it might alleviate some uncomfortable dialogue by you know, posting and sharing this information on a regular basis and make the dialogue a little easier. And so I, I really like some of the software programs that are available for, you know, for families. But yeah, oh, look, absolutely. We, we're recommending that one as well because um, it, it, uh, look, anything you can do to reduce the frustrations and the challenges which occur to, in any family trying to run kids and activities and all of that, um, you know, anything you can minimise those has got to be a good thing, doesn't it? Well, I, I think so. And I think that, you know, that coupled with your coaching program, your communication program, the negotiation programs, the mediation programs, all of those programs that you offer, in addition to offering, you know, the, the public access to, to mediators, but all of those programs helping us to be better listeners and reframe what we think we heard because we frequently are not correct in what we think we hear. And being able to do that in a way that um, doesn't antagonize, but really expresses a sincere interest in understanding what, you know, what we're talking about over the kitchen table, I, that is so key, so important to making these relationships successful, I think. Yeah, oh, look, absolutely. And um, a lot of the, the training and, and, and coaching we do is around... Um, methods developed by Bill Eddy from the High Conflict Institute. So he's he's been mainly working with people right up the end of the spectrum where, you know, they, they really struggle with, with managing their emotions and their behaviour. But we can dial it right back. So we, we want to keep people in a reasonable range so that they, you know, you can have a discussion and you can sort things out. And um, so, you know, some, some of the really simple ways like... Um, you know, technical ear, you know, empathy, attention and respect. So if you, you know, if you stop and, and give people attention um, and and listen to them, they, they won't need to get upset. And and I'm sure, we, you know, we've all seen it in a shop where, where someone, you know, has got some minor complaint that they want to make something, you know, that could be sorted really easily, but the person didn't respond, like they haven't given them the attention and, and so it is very quickly they're up into shouting and, and, and going on. Um, sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I do. And it's frustrating when people don't hear me. Uh, yes. And it, you know, uh, sadly, a lot of the lessons that I learned about communicating came from being uh, a mother. Yes. And, you know, it's, you do have to change the language a little bit, but the idea is basically the same. And that's that um, I understand that you're frustrated at the situation. I can't change the situation, but I can change the way that we respond to it. So let's talk about that. Yeah, you just need empathy, attention, and respect. Mm -hmm. and, and then you ask some, some, you know, appropriate questions. What do you think we can do to change the way we respond to a situation that is unchangeable? How can we make this better for us? Yeah. And, and just that invitation to communicate alone, I think, is so powerful. Even if the, the recipient of that comment doesn't actually have an idea about how we can make things better, just the question shows that you respect their opinion and you respect their position and that you, you want to have a partnership in communication and move things forward. And I know that that's one of the primary goals of the Mediation Institute is helping people set those kinds of goals for themselves. Absolutely. So, um, because, you know, unless you know where you're going, it's, you know, it's, it's really difficult to get um, anywhere other than stuck where you are. Um, you know, it's, it's very, um, so, so goals, realistic goals, and for realistic goals, you need accurate information. Um, and, and too often people are relying on, you know, their gut instinct or what they, their friends say and, 
and so helping people just to you know to to, to learn how to work with professionals to use um, professionals as um, support but not give up their um, self-determination that I think self-determination uh, you know making your own decisions about your life is is, is really important to most people um, and and in the area that I work particularly family law that that often gets lost and they get swept along in into um, things that they really don't you know they really don't want to be um, you know in court for two or three years <laughs> you know they, they get stuck in the legal process and it's not generally speaking, a process over which they have very much control. Mm -hmm. And so letting them express their opinions and, and really taking advantage of those areas in which they do have control is, is empowering and important for people. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think that is important. So Absolutely. now, if somebody wanted to find out more information about the coaching or the mediation or the having access to a mediator, I know that you have built for yourselves a really robust website. What's the website that people can look to? Um, so mediationinstitute.edu.au. So mediationinstitute.edu.au. Yeah, so that's, that's, you'll find everything from there. <laughs> yeah, and so of course I'm gonna put that in the description bar down below so that people can just click on that automatically. And you can find all of the Mediation Institute courses, uh, events, you can gain access to the mediator panel, you can call and just ask a question and find out which of those services might be best suited to your particular situation. Um, if you have a, a challenge, a request, uh, a problem, then you contact Joanne at the Mediation Institute and you'll get guided to the right program and, and the right course. So. Well, thank you. And just actually, because I know you've got an international um, listeners, we, we're really keen to help support um, people that are wanting to develop mediation in, in your country. So we already work in um, Southeast Africa um, with, with Saluhu Mediation in Kenya. And yeah, so we're always open to looking at, you know, how, how can we help you? That, that sums up the Mediation Institute right there. That's, that's, that's the, the perfect ending. It's how, how can we help you? I, I, I like that very much. Well, Joanne, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all of your hard work in the resolution industry. It is greatly appreciated. You're a fantastic ambassador for our industry. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you are welcome. Listen, everybody, thanks so much for listening. Like I said, if you have any questions, uh, concerns, requests, click the link below. Um, I know that Joanne is always happy to help and, and uh, you know, give resources where she can. So Joanne, thanks so much for your time. Uh, enjoy the upcoming fall in Australia. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for me. Uh, be good humans. I'll talk to you on the next video. <laughs>